the 2018 Audi S5 Sportback. Now, in my opinion, I think this is the most beautiful mainstream brand new Audi that is about to hit the market. And yes, it is coming to the US. I'm Jay, and welcome to the special edition of Carbuzz Unboxing Reviews. Now, we were at the uh, 2016 LA Auto Show very recently, and we got a chance to spend some time with the uh, 2018 Audi S5 Sportback. Now, this was actually first revealed to the public back in September at the Paris Motor Show, but now we got to really check it out in person and well, I wanted to share with all of you today because, yeah, this is just a beautiful, beautiful car. Now, some of you may know the first generation uh, A5 and S5 Sportbacks were not available in the U.S. and fortunately, Audi listened to American buyers because, yeah, this is coming to dealerships in the U.S. in the spring of 2017. So yeah, just about, let's say, five, six months from now, you can go out and buy this exact car right here. But just to give you a brief background about the A5 and the S5 Sportbacks. Now, uh, they're built on the same uh, platform as the brand new A4 and S4 sedans. And then there is the Audi A5 and S5 Coupe and Roadster. Basically, they're all built on the same platform. And just like BMW does the same thing with its 3 Series, and which became the 4 Series. And also the uh, 4 Series Grand Coupe, 3 Series GT, 3 Series Coupe, com uh, sorry, convertible. Same thing that is what Audi is doing now with its A4, S4, A5 lineup, etc, etc. But in my opinion, it is the uh, Sportback models right here uh, that are the most beautiful. They have that rear hatch, so it's just a lot of interior space and cargo space as well, more so than the base sedan. Now let's step inside. And if you like the brand new A4 and uh, S4, you are going to love this. This is just a dynamite interior. It's got that typical Audi interior build quality. Uh, like I said before, in every Audi review I've done, uh, Audi, they just, it builds the benchmark interiors. It, they're just the best. In the rear seat, yeah, again, this is it's built on a base uh, rear wheel drive platform, but of course, it's Audi. This is the Quattro with all wheel drive, and yeah, you know, it's just a fantastic car to drive, or I, I think it will be. But look at this interior, my goodness, you have that nice 8.3 inch main uh, screen there. You'll get a closer look at that in just a moment. And then in the uh, driver's gauge cluster, you have a 12.3 inch uh, LCD screen, just like you have in the new A4 that we recently did an unboxing review of as well. There's just so much technology in this car that, in fact, Audi told us that there is more new tech in this S5 Sportback than there is in the current generation A8. Now, the A8, which is the flagship sedan, that's going to be replaced fairly soon. But for now, this car has more tech, and that says a lot. Now, there's going to be two engines offered in the uh, A5 S5 Sportback. Now, the A5 Sportback has a 2-liter turbocharged inline 4 with 252 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. That's paired to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. Again, sends power to all four wheels. And then the, the S5, which is this one right here, it's got a 3-liter twin-turbo V6, 354 horsepower, and 369 pound-feet of torque, and it's paired to an 8-speed Tiptronic automatic. And again, that sends power to all four wheels via the Quattro system. Unfortunately, Audi told us that at least in the U.S., no manual transmission will be offered. Kind of sad, but you can't win them all. As you just saw, yes, that was that 8.3-inch screen there. It's controlled by that uh, rotary dial. Of course, there is that 8-speed automatic uh, shift lever. Everywhere you look in this car, the, the materials is just top-notch. It's all brushed aluminum, covered in leather, the finest quality soft-touch plastics. I love that, uh, that sort of diamond stitching pattern there on the seats. And that, uh, uh, take note of that flat bottom steering wheel as well. That 12.3 inch uh, LCD screen and the driver's gauge cluster, by the way, that's part of what Audi calls its uh, virtual cockpit. 
And it, like, <laughs> let me tell you, it is absolutely state of the art. Some other uh, connectivity uh, ish, uh, features this comes with standard, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, you name it. So how does this drive? Well, obviously we don't know yet. It's it's brand new, but we do know it comes with Audi's S Sport suspension. It's got the Quattro four wheel uh, drive system, which is set up uh, sends up to forty percent of the torque to the front and the remainder to the uh, power to the rear wheels. But the system is constantly adjusting the split uh, of power to the front and rear just to ensure that you get the best driving experience possible. I love these uh, standard LED headlights. Now you get 18 inch aluminum wheels standard, but uh, this particular one, because this is the uh, more powerful S5, you get 19 inch wheels. Just a fantastic looking car. And yes, I know there's that kind of that common complaint that uh, all Audis look the same, but they have a brand new design director and he's really trying to do more to differentiate them. And this S5 Sportback is, is proof. It's just a beautiful car. If you love the uh, the coupe and the roadster, uh, or the convertible rather, I don't know. In my opinion, this is even better looking. Now, the other sort of sportback model Audi builds is the uh, the A7 and the S7 and even the RS7. So you got to think of the A5 and S5 sportback as a smaller version of those cars. But I can't find a bad angle to uh, to judge this car from. And you really have to see it in person to appreciate it, its beauty. Now, what's the competition for it? Well, the main car that comes to mind immediately for me is the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe, which, of course, it's the same thing as a BMW 3 Series sedan with uh, that rear hatch styling just like this car has right here. But in my opinion, the uh, the S5 Sportback, it, it's prettier than the uh, 4 Series Grand Coupe. But that's just my opinion. So if you have any more questions for me, just leave them in the uh, comment section below. Uh, I hope to be able to get behind the wheel of this car as soon as it hits the market later uh, in 2017. But until my next review, I'll see you all next time.